I've nipped out for a quick walk before the rain settles in and I've seen an opportunity for a quick hedge bothering instruction video. Lots of my friends have followed me picking hop shoots in the spring and I've recommended that other people do so too. They're very easy to identify. Here's some hop shoots straggling above the hedge but quite rightly a lot of people are worried about whether they're going to identify things correctly now. You see, because I've got a ditch in the way, can you see the lovely, lovely big hop leaves? Oh, here's a good one. It's beautiful, beautiful hop leaves. There are always visible, even from quite a young age on the stems. They're really quite unmistakable. And then the bit that you want is just this top bit here. I mean, these are quite mature shoots now, but generally that top few inches, a bit more when they're very young, absolutely perfect. Now because they're long climbers and there's not many climbers around at this time of the year, usually there's not much that you can mistake them for, but there are one or two things and in the opposite hedge I've seen some. So we'll go and have a look at one of the contenders. Now in this hedge, there's bindweed coming up. Now can you see it waving over the top of the hedge? So you might at first think, oh, I found some hop shoots. But if we have a look at it, those leaves are nothing like our hop leaves. Now, the bindweed wouldn't taste very nice, wouldn't do a great deal to you, but there are a couple of other things that you really want to watch out for. And those are the bryonies. We've got two in Britain, black bryony and white bryony. And again, they can climb above the hedge in the early stages. I'll see if I can find some to show you the difference with those. And here's another good crop of hops. Again, very, very unmistakable leaves. Five sections to them. Quite rough. Mm, smooth at the same time. They've just got nice, nice, nice textures to them. And the all important hop shoot at the end. And here's another one waving over the hedge now. I think, I can't actually get quite close enough to be absolutely certain, but I think this one is Woody Nightshade Bittersweet. The ones with those very, very pretty little flowers and the red berries later on. Now, they don't overlap so much with the hop season and I don't think you're at any risk of mistaking them, but it's just another example of how Try and get that against the light. How you do have to keep your wits about you, even with something that you know well when you're foraging. There's always things that can confuse you, and some of them aren't very good for you at all. I'm sorry, that's not a clearer picture. Really, I'm leaning over a ditch here. Now here I have got an absolutely perfect example of what I was talking about. There are lots and lots of lovely hop shoots here. That Beautiful leaves, quite easy to try and find, juicy, juicy buds. But look here, look here. Look at this thick vine. Oh, why is the light so bad today? Come on, light. Can you see those leaves? Those are very different. Look at the thick, thick stem. That's bryony, or one of the bryonies. I'll show you the other one in a bit. Oh, this is so grey, look. But see how it is twined together with the hop. If you were collecting without paying attention. On one end, oh, sorry this is waving around, you've got your hop shoot which is perfectly safe and delicious. Right, right next to it. Well, they don't really look that different do they? But you could be confused. This one is bryony and that's not good for you. Let's try and show you this hops next to each other. Sorry the camera's shaking around, I wasn't planning on videoing today. So, on the right of the picture is the hop shoot, the very delicate and slim. And even in a young stage, there's little hop leaves there. That's the bryony. Now, I don't think you'd confuse that, but you'd uh, probably regret it if you did. So, this video really is about keeping your wits about you. Double check, don't take things for granted, because even on a patch that you know well, there can be things lurking to catch you out. And the golden rule of foraging is only pick and eat what you are 100% sure of. If you're not sure, leave it alone. 
And here's the last one I wanted to show you today. So your eye will be drawn to the hop and you're absolutely right. There is our hop, which means there are hop shoots here. But what's this growing next to it? This is the other bryony. Now, again, they're quite different. If I get a nice big hop leaf, put one beside the other, but they have a similar shape. And if you're not paying attention, at first glance, you could be confused. Now, if we trace this vine upwards, 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 where are you? There you are. There's your bryony top. Now, this is very, very different. Look at those curly attachment things and that big, fleshy top to it. Again, I don't think you're likely to confuse them. But if you're not paying attention, or if you haven't double checked, there is always a chance for things to go wrong. So, this little video isn't intended to be a definitive identification guide. It's really just a cautionary tale to check and double check. And then when you get your harvest home, at the end, there's some Jack and the Green leaves there as well, just ignore those, go through it triple check that every single bit of it looks the way you expect it to look because at the very least it's not going to taste nice if you get it wrong and at worst you could do yourself a little bit of a mischief those ones are jack and the green leaves they're for my bacon sandwich this morning happy hedge bothering don't let this panic you but it is important to be certain only pick what you need only pick what you're sure about if in doubt leave it out be safe. Happy hedge bothering.